Hello guys and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is going to be a quick introduction to ChatGPT, prompts and prompt engineering. So first let's start with what exactly ChatGPT is. I believe most of you should be aware that ChatGPT is an AI chatbot used as an information or work tool. You can access it through the link uh, in the presentation that I left. Prompt engineering also is the process of designing and crafting questions or statements given to ChatGPT as an input in order to get specific and desired outputs. And this leads me to explaining what exactly a prompt is. So a prompt is a question or a statement given to ChatGPT as an input to generate a response. It's a way to encourage ChatGPT to reply to the input. And let me give you a quick example. As you can see, we're already in ChatGPT. So we can ask ChatGPT how to improve my communication skills. Let's start with this. Improve. For example, to excel in a job and enhance my career as a sales marketer. As we can see, ChatGPT has generated the output and the tips given are, for example, practice active listening, work on your nonverbal communication, use simple language, etc. And what can you notice in my prompt? So I've given ChatGPT the question, for example, how to improve my communication skills to excel in a job and advance in my career as a sales marketer. Notice how specific I am in my prompt. I could have simply asked how to improve my communication skills. However, the response generated wouldn't have been nearly as useful as this one. Basically, when writing a prompt, you should mainly focus on what truly is important and what matters the most to you and ChatGPT. Therefore, try to be specific and accurate in your questions and knowing how this process works by effectively using various tools and strategies is called prompt engineering. So guys, this is a quick recap of what exactly prompt engineering is and we can wrap this lecture up. In the next one, we're going to talk about five best practices for prompt engineering and six incorrect ways of prompting. In this lecture, we're going to discuss six incorrect ways of prompting and five best practices for prompt engineering. As you can see, we're back in the presentation as I'll have to show you some examples. And we can start with the first one, which is giving a very broad or vague prompt. For example, write a song. This prompt will still generate a response. However, in many cases, it can lead to a wide range of responses that may not be relevant or specific to what you're looking for. The second one is using a too specific prompt. For example, write a song about a single musician who lives in the big city and wears the same shirt daily while having 30 other different types of colors at home. You get the idea. I came up with this prompt, I think it's pretty evident. So these types of prompts can limit ChatGPT's ability to generate a creative and interesting text. Let's go to the third one, which is providing too much context in the prompt. So for example, in Boston, there is a university which you can attend only with a scholarship. There are three students who have been accepted without a scholarship and there is a discrimination towards them from students and also teachers. Write a story about one of the three students. These types of prompts can overwhelm ChatGPT and make it difficult for it to generate a clear and concise text. And also it can lack ChatGPT again out of creativity. So the fourth one is using overly complex or technical language in the prompt. For example, given the multifaceted nature of the task at hand, which requires an astute understanding of the underlying principles and their interconnectedness, I kindly request that you provide me with a comprehensive guidance and support throughout the process. These types of prompts can be difficult, not only for me, but for ChatGPT as well to understand and can lead to inaccurate or irrelevant responses. So let's get to point five, which is asking a question that can be answered with the available information. For example, what is the meaning of life? 
These types of prompts can be difficult for ChatGPT to answer since it doesn't have access to the information required to provide a meaningful response. Even though ChatGPT will provide an answer, it will be very generic and not meaningful to you. And number six is using an excessively long prompt. While prompts can be any text, a request to ChatGPT can use up to 4,097 tokens. The tokens are shared between a prompt and the result that ChatGPT will give you. If your prompt is 4,000 tokens, the result you will get is only 97 tokens, which is nothing. A token is a limit after which AI forgets, so 4,000 tokens equal 3,000 words. So let me go and show you what I mean by the tokens. Let's open the tokenizer. So I'll leave you a link somewhere in the presentation about the tokenizer as well. And uh, we can try with a certain example. So let me give the tokenizer the, world, the word alligator. As you can see, Alligator has nine letters, so nine characters and two tokens. It's separated between Al and iGator. So you get that this word is only two tokens. And let me show you what ChatGPT's limit is. We can go to Wikipedia and the Wikipedia for OpenAI. We can copy this text. Let's go to the bottom so we have enough characters. So we paste this and you can see that this is 6,000 tokens which is 27,032 characters. If we copy all of this again and go to ChatGPT, paste, you get the message that you submitted was too long, please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. As you can see, this is the limit of ChatGPT. Let's go back to the presentation. And this is the excessively long prompt. Let's go to the next one, which is five best practices for prompt engineering. So here we have the upside of prompt engineering. The first one is keep your prompt specific and clear. The second one is provide enough context for ChatGPT to generate relevant responses. The third one is test different prompts and evaluate the ChatGPT responses using your expertise and not using ChatGPT's training data. Four, continuously iterate and improve prompts over time. And five, be mindful of ChatGPT's limitations. So these were the five best practices and six incorrect ways of prompting. We can wrap this lecture up and in the next one, we'll start talking about different strategies and methods that you can apply in prompt engineering. It will get very, very interesting. So buckle up. Thank you very much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.